Sorry guys, start this video off. I just have an offense alignment in the background. I hope you don't mind, but I have to have an offense alignment in the background here, as you can see. Anyway, so um <laughs> here's a post by Gary Faulkner who says they so they threatened to kick me out of the stadium for standing up at the game. They kicked some other Bengals fans out near me. They only kicked out opposing fans. What a joke of a franchise. At Steelers, do better. Awful experience as a fan who travels and spends money. So, this is, if you don't know who he is, he is The Beard. This man is an absolute legend Bengals fan. W Bengals fan here. Um, by the way, here is his actual Twitter. Now, let me give my thoughts and opinions on this. So, based on what I understand, and he claims he was being a little bit, you know, a little bit mild. He wasn't crazy, trash talking, just a tad bit, wasn't going insane. Which, let's be honest, some fans and T. Higgins' mom said that's awful. Um, but he wasn't going, he said, that crazy. He was just simply standing up and enjoying a football game. Now, I've been to a lot of football games in my life, okay? Fans stand up during football games. I know it's crazy to say this in the aspect of that. It sounds delusional. Why would you stand up during a football game where you're passionate about it? Listen, as long as you're not fighting somebody, as long as you're not throwing beer on somebody, I don't think you should get kicked out for standing up. Now, I understand this perspective of, well, you are blocking off, you know, someone else's experience of playing, of watching the game. And they're paying money, four, five, six hundred dollars maybe, to go to a game. Not that much, but they're maybe generally, like, if they're going with their friends and they have food and beer, you know, it could accumulate to six hundred dollars. Um... And they're trying to watch the game, and you're blocking them. That's football. That's that's just part of that's part of going to a stadium. If you don't want to have any of that happen, watch it on your couch and enjoy it from your couch. That's just how it is. I went to a uh, Raiders game. I think it was like so, seven years ago, and it wasn't even for the Ravens. It was the Raiders versus I forget who it was. Raiders versus someone. I think it was it might have been the Eagles. And I was sitting behind three Raiders fans. And they stepped up. And they literally blocked my view. You know what I did? I stepped up and looked around them. I know it's, you know, that's inconvenient. I don't like that. It's football. That's what fans do. They get passionate. They want their team to win. They're screaming. They're yelling. Based on what he explains. And again, we don't know the whole story here. He claims he was pretty mild. I have seen fans, Raiders fans in particular, when Eagles fans were talking trash, they weren't mild. <laughs> you think standing up is the worst thing a, a fan would do? They were going crazy. And did they get kicked out of the game? No, they did not. Did they fight the other team? No, they didn't fight the fans. But they were screaming and yelling and ripping their jerseys. And it was insane. It was like a circus. But that's a part of football. And as long as you're not hurting another uh, fan or another person, who cares if you're standing up? That's football. That's passion. That's what football is about. Just literally say, and again, as he says right here, no other Steelers fans being kicked out. We can't obviously validate that point. We can't. At the end of the day, there could have been Steelers fans who got kicked out. We need to, We don't have the whole entire side of the story, right? So I'm not really going to talk on the point of Steelers fans not getting kicked out. But I don't believe a fan should get kicked out for standing up during a game that's very, you know, high intensity and passionate and back and forth. We they, they shouldn't happen. Okay? I understand, you know, Steelers, you guys don't want us in your house. You guys don't want us at your stadium. And, you know, yeah, there are probably some Bengals fans that were getting rowdy and were getting crazy. And if any Bengals fans were throwing punches at Steelers fans, you could kick them out. I'm okay with that. But for standing up... Man, that's that's just kind of nonsense. And then going down here, he does post again. He said, it's ridiculous they had the cops escort this group out for standing up. Never seen anything like this before. Ridiculous. And yeah, it's obviously a bunch of Bengals fans. And I'm sure that it, you know, again, like I said before, I'm sure it is because of the fact they're Bengals fans. <sighs> it's not surprising to me. It's not surprising by any stretch of imagination that this crap happened. And listen, again, like I said before, I'm sure this was a strictly on the security personnel at the stadium. 
And I know he said at Steelers franchise do better. At the end of the day, let's be honest, the Steelers franchise does not control the security as much at the stadiums. Like, yes, they have the full, at the end of the day, say so. But they're not, like, in the moment, like, you don't have the Steelers coaches or Steelers personnel coming up and saying, hey, Hey, listen, um, can you please make sure you get those Bengals fans standing up out of the game? Like, they don't do that, right? This is a choice by a security personnel at the stadium that chooses to do this. And again, you know, could they be upheld by higher management? Yes, but they don't care. And I think that's what this really comes down to. Again, I understand the perspective of your blocking view of other people there to watch a game. But again, I I, I, like, I gotta say, man, that's part of football experience. You know, you go to these games, if you think blocking someone, someone blocking your view is like the worst thing ever, I hate to tell you this, but most of the time when you're watching a game in a stand, you can't even see part of the game. It depends on where your tickets are and where you're sitting, but most of the time you can't even see, you know, a, like the whole entire action anyway. Usually you can see like, you know, something happen, a big play or something, but you can't really see the greatest perspective. So again, if you're having that problem, stand up. Stand up behind them and look around them. I know it's, you know, again, that's not fun because I want to sit down. Well, then don't go to a game. Sit on your couch and watch a football game. I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you're so upset about that, then just, you know, figure out a way to fix that. Look around the guy. It's, they had to get the cops to come in and t remove him from the game. And other Bengals fans, you know, this isn't a bigger story, I feel like, because we got blown out and we got destroyed and we got humiliated. If this was a close game, this would be a bigger deal in the aspect of, like, there would be more people talking about it. It's not going to be talked about because of the fact it was a blowout. But still, it's just like Steelers. You guys really got to do this, man. You guys really got to take us out of the stadium. You can't have all fans in there screaming and yelling and screaming who they nation because you're you're that like upset about it. And your fans, this is why I've said before, I have no disrespect for Steelers franchise. The franchise I have no disrespect for. The fans, I cannot stand Squealer fans. Not all of them. I have met a lot of good ones. I know it's crazy to say this. I met a good amount of decent, good Steelers fans. I've had Steelers fans comment on this channel who were decent and good. And I, I can respect fully heartedly. And you probably know who you're talking about. And you might be the guy coming in right now. You might be the person who says like, hey, yeah, he shouldn't be kicked out of the game. And you would be a part of the Steelers fans that I respect. But we all know there's a part of Squealers Nation. And I'll say it like this. Steelers fans I respect, Steelers fans. Squealer fans, those are the ones I don't respect. And they are the ones that would... <clears throat> don't cuss on this channel. But B-word, they would, you know, go crazy and say, Oh, I can't believe you're standing in front of us when we're trying to watch you. I'm like, bro, this ain't baseball. I'm sorry, this ain't baseball. We don't sit here and act like a little bunch of, like, freaking school kids... Okay, let's watch the game. Hey guys, I we scored. Good job, good job, little Johnny. No, there's there's some f words in there. There's some you know screaming. There's some yelling. There's some cussing out. And again, as long as you're not putting your hands on anyone else, throwing something at anyone else, there's no problem with that. You could say, well, eventually that could escalate to someone doing that. And again, like I said, that's why. Again, if you are just arguing with another fan. And it's a good, passionate argument. Not an argument that's getting violent. I have no problem with that. And if you're a fan nearby and you hear fans screaming, yelling at each other because of the game, they should not be kicked out because of that. If they're actually attacking someone, yes, they should be kicked out. But just going back and forth, banter, you know, trash talking, no. You don't kick out a fan for that. It's just stupid. I can't believe this is actually something that is happening. And again, we got blown out. I don't care at the end of the day. It is what it is. You guys beat us and destroyed us. Congratulations. But to act like this as a... Again, I'll say it like this, right? Again, this is not on the Steelers franchise. But 
it is a bad look on the Steelers franchise. This is not Steelers franchise doing this. It's like they're not like, hey, we called in and made sure this happened. But again, this is a bad look. It's the same thing when you know the um, Bengals fans at the Chiefs game had a clown Goodell picture, and they made him take it down. That is, I don't actually it wasn't the Chiefs game. It was one of the games. I think it was a Ravens game, the last week of the season last year between the Ravens and Bengals. And they had a clown go down. And the security at Paycor Stadium made him take it down. That's crazy. Like, as long as you're not hurting someone, who cares? Let fans be fans. That's the point of going to these games. That's the point of having this crazy necessity of football. I can't believe this is what we're coming to at this point. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.